remnants of, of Nestor will begin to move into the area uh, later on tonight and especially going into tomorrow. That will increase the chances of showers and thunderstorms into the area and also the threat of gusty winds as well. And it will be a rainy start for your Sunday morning. So if you are having any plans, uh, particularly for Sunday morning, whether you're going to church or a Sunday brunch, Please be sure to carry that rain jacket with you because uh, it will be wet and muggy. Speaking of wet conditions, tomorrow 72 degrees, 54 for an overnight low. Thunderstorms will continue. As we take a look at your sa Atlantic satellite picture, we have the latest information on post tropical s storm Nestor. In fact, uh, the winds have not changed, still at 40 miles per hour. The pressure is around 999 millibars, and it is moving really quickly to the northeast at 23 miles per hour as well. And the center has made landfall. In fact, this uh, storm has made landfall right along the panhandle of Florida, with most of the thunderstorms associated with Nestor mainly to the northeast. And it looks like that trend will continue throughout the remaining portion. Uh, as we look at your model projection forecast, most of the models continue to show it moving right along the uh, North Carolina on a coastline, though there is still a little bit of disagreement on where the exact center could be. Regardless of whether the, whether the center is offshore or onshore, there will still be a threat of showers and thunderstorms across our region. So here's a look at your tropical summary. The system has made landfall along the Gulf Coast. North Carolina will begin to experience those effects as late as, uh, as tonight and going into your Sunday morning. And while we do have the chances of heavy rain and also wind gusts, there it will be an isolated tornado Sunday. threat. So as we look at your precision forecast, much of the shower and thunderstorm activity will be mostly in South Carolina and just slowly moving into our region going into the latter portion of the evening. But then as we move into Sunday morning, those showers and thunderstorms definitely moving into the southeastern part of the state and eventually encompassing much of of North Carolina and this will be our greatest chance where we could deal with a little bit of severe weather. Some of these storms could be a little bit rotary in nature. We'll keep you updated just in case. 